Yes, we are excited about mathematics today. My name is Michelle Williams and I am your Ignited Teacher. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, introducing place value using number disks. I absolutely love number disks because they are a, an easy way to teach young learners about um, place value and it really extends their understanding and seals the deal with learning um, place value and mastering the concept. Um, so let's get started today. Here I have my um, place value chart. Normally when I introduce place value to um, first graders and second graders, I generally start from simple to really complex. So I'll start with tens and ones. I don't recommend using number disk until the students have mastered and really understand the concept of place value using base 10 blocks, which are my least favorite, beans, straws, and really can tell you and articulate how place value is used within our system. And in first grade, that looks like, oh, if you have the number 38, um, how many ones are there? There are eight ones. How many groups of 10 are there? Can they say, well, here's a group of 10. It's 10 ones in each group. So that's how you know that the first graders have mastered the concept and are ready to move on to number disks. So today we're going to start out with simple numbers using the number disk. Number disks are coin-like uh, shapes with the numbers on them. They're very easy to use because they don't have all those moving parts that we absolutely just love um, picking up off the floor and having them thrown across the classroom when children are using them. They're very simple and concrete objects that you can use in a place value chart. Also, they can be drawn. Base 10 blocks are normally difficult for young learners, um, for example, in first and second grade to draw in their long drawn out process. So you're gonna see how simple and easy you can implement and start using um, number disks in your classroom to help your students grasp and master the place value concept. So normally when I start um, using the place value chart and the students are, are from the con have moved on from the concrete to this drawing process. I have my students write the numbers in the place value chart. So let's start with the number. Um, we're going to start with the number 13. I always start with numbers that have a one in the place that in the tens place because I want to focus on them understanding that there are a, this is a group of tens, not one 10. I mean a group of 10 and with 10 ones inside of that group. So let's go ahead and get started. So say for instance, we're starting with the number 13. So here we have our three and here's our one. So you would ask the students through a series of questions um, how many ones are there in the number three? So the children should say three ones. Three is a very abstract concept. And especially in, in kindergarten, they try to build their number sense. Um, okay. And they do one-to-one -one correspondence. So here we're using that same concept. And we're going to write one number disk, two, three. So the children have three visual representation of three ones. You have the three here, which is really abstract, but then you have this con conceptual model, which is one, two, three in the ones place. So it's, it helps the kids connect what three ones really is. So then over here, which is more difficult because you the kids have to understand, okay, a 10 is a group of 10, not just 10. So a group of 10, what does that mean? That means that there are 10 ones in this group of 10. So there are two ways that you can do this. 
um, you can say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And you can bundle these all together. And this can be done for students that have um, are struggling with that understanding of a group of 10. If your students are beyond that, you go ahead and just write the number 10 and there you have your rep your um, place value representation using number this for the number 13. This is something that you will probably have to do because I know even in first grade I had some children that still were struggling with that group of 10. So you can say this is a group of 10 in the tens place. So let's move on. We're going to move on. So once I move, have the kids have understood that, then we move on to numbers where there's not a one in the tens place. So we could say I move up to forty-six. So I always start putting my six first, and then my tens. That helps with students when they subtract because I did. In third and fourth grade, I had kids that still were subtracting from trying to subtract from left to right, which we know that is not correct. So when I use my place value chart, I try to model those um, good practices so they'll see that we always write and subtract add from right to left. So six ones, we'll say that there are six And if I don't have enough room, I always try to put them evenly because I know in third grade, they're going to have to start grouping um, these together. So I'll put them evenly and not straight across if I don't have enough room. So over here, you can like I said before, you can do your group of tens or you can do your four groups of ten. So there's your visual model using number disk with 46. The one thing I love about number disk is that you can also um use this for standard form because students normally get this part which is standard form they get that 46 but when they have to write it in expanded form it becomes difficult for them so you can even extend this place value and number this to okay how does 46 look in expanded form and the children already have a model here to look at so how many what is what is the value of the four in a tens place or you could say the digit of, of four the digit four in the tens place so we can count the value 10 20 30 40 and the kids can see that it is four tens, but the value is 40. And we add six ones to that, and it gives us or creates the number 46. So that's a brief overview of how you can use um, number disk in your classroom. I highly recommend that all teachers, even myself this year, I'll be using um, place value and reviewing it every day with my students as a part of my um routine with my students because i'm teaching four groups of uh fifth grade math classes 
So if you would like to get in contact with me, here's my email address. You can always contact me at the Ignited Teacher and Fuel at FuelGreatMinds.com, or you can always visit me at on my blog at www.FuelGreatMinds forward slash blog. So I hope that you enjoyed and this was some useful information. If you would like to, please leave comments and feedback or email me at the Ignited Teacher at fuelgreatminds.com. And thank you and have a great day.